Hi, I'm attorney David Bannis with Hickman and Louder. Welcome to Elder Law Talks. Uh, today we're going to talk about managing our loved one's affairs from afar and particularly during this strange time in the COVID-19 pandemic. As uh, most everybody knows at this point, individuals who are in facilities um, are essentially on lockdown themselves. They're not allowed to have in, uh, in the building visitors. Um, access to these individuals has almost been completely cut off and that has raised a lot of unique uh, challenges for our existing clients and folks who are uh, seeking to obtain long-term care for a loved one now. When you're taking a look at how to plan for these unprecedented times, it really starts small and simple with powers of attorney, surrogate decision-making documents that allow another person to manage another one's finances. A durable power of attorney for finances will allow another individual, maybe across town, across the state, or even across the country, uh, to do things on behalf of the individual with respect to their finances to possibly qualify for Medicaid, like moving money from one account to the next, setting up a qualified income trust, which is often necessary to qualify for Medicaid, changing beneficiary designations, um, paying existing bills, uh, communicating with uh, the nursing home facility business office to make sure that a loved one is cared for. Uh, and not just the loved one in the nursing home, but also what we call the community spouse, the spouse that isn't in need of that care. The other aspect of surrogate decision making is the healthcare power of attorney. Again, a relatively low tech and simple document that everyone should really have in place, but especially now with what we're going through. The healthcare power of attorney allows an individual to talk to the nursing staff, the doctors, the therapists, the counselors, uh, the hospital uh, uh, folks, uh, and then eventually uh, communicate with Medicaid, apply for Medicaid, and release all of that information. So again, uh, managing big change starts with small steps, and uh, just give us a call. We're here to listen.